So sea levels are rising essentially because of climate change. Communities have always settled on the coasts. Sea level rise is creating a whole new set of extremes that they just haven't had to deal with either in their lifetimes or perhaps even in the lifetime of those communities. I'm Mike Dobson, I'm an associate. My specialism is flood risk management. We've been working for many years to look at the flood risk in Hull from a number of sources, not just from sea levels and from the estuary. We know that it's low lying, it's similar to New Orleans in many ways. And there's 100,000 properties potentially at risk from some more, more extreme events. My name is Stephen Diney and I'm a fluid dynamics specialist. The sea level rise we've seen so far is, uh, is pretty predictable. The, you know, things get warm and they expand, but looking into the future, things are, are a lot more uncertain. So the Eurosea project is a large European research project and as part of Eurosea, Arup is tasked with better communicating and understanding uncertainty in decisions in the coastal zone. What we're trying to do is create a tool which can be used for people just to explore the data in a way that helps them build up that kind of intuition. The problem we were trying to solve is that the science from the IPCC doesn't really get right through to decisions. We think what we've done is at least at some level we've allowed that science to flow through turned it into economic impacts. Cambridge University were really doing the, the majority of the analytical heavy lifting here. So come up with an approach where they could statistically describe all these sort of broad spectrum of scenarios. Really the hexagons were a compromise between getting enough data through to decisions and speed of processing so that you can interrupt the data. The Environment Agency were incredibly important on this project. We asked them to be a stakeholder during our development just so we could make sure what we're doing was sense checked and was potentially useful for users at the end. The power in what we've done is we've brought all of the science through from the front end through to decision makers with the visualisation prototype. For the first time they can actually see the impacts of some of those more extreme projections and you can actually start to make some more informed decisions. It would be great to test it in a few more locations. Could we do this for several cities, a region, entire countries? We want it to be globally applicable. There's a lot that needs to be done to reshape our environment, to make it resilient to flooding, and the public need to be brought along with that. It can't be something that, that happens to them. Sustainability and climate change is at the heart of what Arab do. So we, and when I say we, I mean not just our, but you know, society, human civilization, have huge decisions to make over the next half a century about you know, what we do to reshape our infrastructure and our towns or cities and make them resilient for the changes in our climate that's coming. <laughs>